R Y N D L E. Good job, Sissy. anyone noticed but I didn't post a vlog this weekend like I usually do um, mainly because I just didn't have enough like footage it would have been literally a minute long um, because I was so busy this entire weekend and I went to Little Rock and got to spend some time with my boyfriend and to be honest I was so focused on seeing him that I didn't really pick up my phone and film anything because I haven't seen him in over a month so I'm just going to combine that into my vlog that I do Wednesday. Today I did an hour of working out. I did 15 minutes legs, 15 minutes abs, 30 minutes on elliptical. And I did that thing where you wear a long sleeve, a trash bag, and then short sleeve. And I'm disgusting right now. Like I'm so gross. Um, so yeah, uh, today is... Today's day 33, I believe. So, um, that's exciting. I guess I didn't realize like, how fast it's going. So, okay, Hello. see you later. Vlog. Um, so, it is Wednesday, and I'm out to edit all this and put it together. Um, I usually go to Bible study, but I kind of worked a little later, and I'm just kind of in like a weird headspace right now. Um, I, with being in a long distance relationship, I've been trying really hard to keep myself busy. I have a friend come over on Monday nights. I go to Zumba on Tuesday nights. I have um, Bible study on Wednesdays. I go to Pilates on Thursdays. And usually Friday, Saturday, I'm trying to fill it with going to dinner with friends, having friends come over and just watch movies. And um, as great as that is, it's not giving me time to like be by myself and I'm someone who I definitely like to be by myself and I appreciate all my friends for doing that that's I appreciate my friends so 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 much it's not even funny like I would be dead without some of these girls like they are, are my life um but especially after seeing my boyfriend this weekend it always puts me in like a sad funk um because when you 
get to see them, you're so excited, and then when you have to say goodbye, you realize, like, it's gonna be another two or three weeks that I get to spend maybe 24 hours with them, <laughs> and, like, um, it's really hard, and it's something that I feel like I don't always, um, express how hard it is, or let myself, like, kind of take it in, and be by myself, because I'm just trying to pack myself full of activities so I don't think about it, so then when I do think about it, it hits me really hard. It's hard being away from the person who you laugh the hardest with, and smile the biggest with, and so sometimes you just need to take some time for yourself, and breathe, and um, like tonight I did a face mask, and I did a really, really long shower, and I think that I've been going so hard with my diet and going so hard with my exercise because I'm kind of hoping that it fills the void that I have right now with my boyfriend. Um, and there's nothing that either of us can do. He's fulfilling his dreams right now by playing D1 baseball and I'm so incredibly proud of him. Um, and I'm doing my thing here and that's great and we have a really really healthy relationship um, but even the healthiest relationships like it hurts being away from each other but he's probably gonna watch this and roll his eyes <laughs> um, I told you guys I was gonna get <laughs> very real on these vlogs and um, I don't want you to think that I'm not being real with you because this is a, something that I deal with in my life um, and so I definitely have pushed my limits lately with exercise and filling my agenda to the point where it's really affected my body and it's really affected like my mental health because I haven't had time to sit and decompress. Um, I've been go, go, going. So like, and so when you go, 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 like at one point or another, it's gonna hit you. And it definitely did like driving seven hours there and then driving seven hours back within 48 hours is really hard on the body and like also they don't mention like how hard it is on you mentally um and I remember like just driving home this weekend and at one point I just started crying because I just am like sick to my stomach when I have to leave and I just I don't think, like, I, I, when we were able to see each other every day, I took things, so many things for granted, like, things that other people I don't think, like, think about, like, going and having dinner every night, or him being able to come hang out with my family on Friday, or going on date nights every week, or just getting to hug him after work, and having a bad day, and, like, him being the only person I want to see, I don't get that right now. And that's okay, because as I said, like, I'm very proud of him and where he is. Um, it's just hard. So, yeah, that's what's been going on in my life. So, this vlog's super short, because I've just been in a weird place, but I promise you, Sundays will be better impactful. So, thanks for watching.